हेलो माय सेल्फ सुनील कलशेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सिंगल फेज फुल ब्रिज इन्वर्टर लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स कैन एनालाइज सिंगल फेज फुल ब्रिज इन्वर्टर सिंगल फेज फुल ब्रिज इन्वर्टर दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ सिंगल फेज फुल ब्रिज इन्वर्टर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर पावर डिवाइसेस एंड फोर फीडबैक डायोड्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर चॉपर्स एंड थ्री वायर डीसी सोर्स हियर क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू एक्स एज वन पेर एंड क्यू थ्री एंड क्यू फोर एक्स एज अनदर पेर क्यू वन क्यू टू एंड क्यू थ्री क्यू फोर स्विचड ऑन एंड ऑफ अल्टरनेटली नीड टू आइसोलेट द गेट सिग्नल फॉर ऑल द पावर डिवाइसेस ईच पेयर प्रोवाइड्स अपोजिट पोलैरिटी ऑफ द वी एस अक्रॉस द लोड लेट एस सी हाव इट वर्क्स नाउ एज्यूम दैट द लोड इज प्यूअरली रिच टू नाउ इनिशियली अप्लाय द गेट पल्स टू द क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू एंड ब्लॉक द गेट पल्स फॉर द Q3 and Q4. So effect of this, Q1, Q2 conducts and it acts as short. Therefore, the direction of current is Vs Q1 load Q2 back to the Vs. Therefore, Vs is appears across the load. Assume that the direction of load voltage is positive and the direction of load current is positive. Means the positive half cycle appears across the load. At the same time. Q3, Q4 are in non-conducting state. Therefore, the drop across Q3, Q4 is the Vs. Now, when the gate pulses are blocked for the Q1, Q2 and applied for the Q3, Q4, so effect of this Q3, Q4 conducts. When the Q3, Q4 conducts, the direction of load current is the source Q3, B, load A, Q4. Now this time. the polarity of load voltage is exactly opposite than previous one and the, the direction of load current is also exactly opposite means the negative half cycle appears across the load at the same time q1 q2 are in non conducting set and the drop across q1 and q2 is the vs these are the waveforms now in the duration 0 to t by 2 Q1, Q2 conducts the positive half cycle appears across the load. In the duration t by 2 to d, t by 2 to t, Q3, Q4 conducts negative half cycle appears across the load, and the direction of load current is exactly opposite. Now, expression of V0 RMS for the single phase full bridge inverter. So V0 RMS is equal to one upon t, the limits of integration zero to t by 2. V S square d t plus t by two two t V S square d t raised to half. Therefore, V zero R M S is equal to V S. So the R M S value for the single phase full bridge inverter is same as the supply voltage. Now, now load is inductive. Now this circuit consists of four switches S one to S four, and the D one to D four acts as the feedback diodes. these are the waveforms now at t is equal to t1 apply the gate pulses for the s1 and s2 therefore the direction of load current is source edc s1 p load q s2 now now the direction of load voltage is positive and assume that this direction of load current is positive and the voltage across load is same as a supply voltage edc now when the s1 s2 turns off but the load is highly inductive load this highly inductive load try to maintain the current in same direction therefore p becomes negative and q becomes positive therefore the stored inductive energy is fed back to the source through the diode d3 source d4 back to the load means direction of current remains same but the direction of polarity of load voltage becomes negative 
now at t is equal to t3 at t is equal to t3 gate pulses are applied to the s3 s4 s3 s4 conducts and axle short therefore the direction of load current is source s3 q load s4 back to the edc assume that this direction of load voltage is exactly opposite than previous one and the direction of current is negative negative half cycle appears across the load in this duration some fraction part of the energy is stored in the l and most of the energy is delivered to the load and the direction of polarity of load voltage q positive p, ne p negative when the s3 s4 turns off but this highly inductive load try to maintain the current in same direction therefore q becomes negative and p becomes positive so it forces the current in the same direction therefore the stored inductive energy is fed back to the source through the q load p d1 edc back to the d2 q means in this duration the load voltage is positive but the load current is negative so these are the waveforms these are the load current waveforms for the highly inductive load what is the piv for the single phase half bridge inverter with rl load now the piv for the single phase half bridge inverter is same as a half bridge inverter so piv for full bridge inverter is the is same as a supply voltage performance parameter harmonic factor of the nth harmonic hfn is equal to v0n divided by v01 for n is greater than 1 where v0n is equal to rms value of the nth harmonic component v01 is equal to rms value of the fundamental component harmonic factor of nth harmonic is the measure of individual harmonic contribution in the output voltage of inverter it is defined as ratio of rms voltage of particular harmonic component to the rms value of the fundamental component thd total harmonic distortion it measures the closeness in the shape between a waveform and its fundamental component so thd is equal to 1 upon v01 into bracket summation n is equal to 2 3 4 up to infinity v0 n square raised to half distortion factor it indicates the amount of harmonic distortion that remains in a particular waveform after the harmonics have been subjected to the second order alternation so df is equal to 1 upon v01 into bracket summation n is equal to 2 3 4 up to infinity v0 n upon n square bracket square raised to half therefore distortion factor is equal to v0 1 upon v0 1 into n square for n is greater than 1 lower order harmonic the harmonic component whose frequency is closest to the fundamental and its amplitude is greater than or equal to 3% of the amplitude of the fundamental component a single phase transistorized inverter has the resistance of 2.5 ohm and the dc input voltage is vs is equal to 50 volt calculate the rms output voltage now as we know for the single phase half bridge inverter the rms output voltage is same as a supply voltage therefore for this problem the rms output voltage is equal to 50 volt now fourier analysis of inverter output instantaneous output voltage the fourier series can be found out by using the following equation e0 omega t is equal to summation n is equal to 1 2 3 4 up to infinity cn sin n omega t plus phi n where cn is equal to under root an square plus bn square 
and phi n is equal to tan inverse of a n upon b n. Now here a n is 0 for all value of n, but the b n is the value of b n is finite for odd value and 0 is equal to even value. So, these are the values of a n and b n. Therefore, b n is equal to 4 upon pi limits of integration 0 to pi by 2 e d c sin n omega t d omega t only for odd value of n. Therefore, b n is equal to 4 e d c upon n, n pi and c n is equal to 4 e d c upon n pi and phi n is equal to 0. Now, the instantaneous output voltage for the full bridge inverter can be expressed in Fourier series as follows. E0 omega t is equal to summation n is equal to 1 3 phi u infinity 4 upon pi E d c upon n sin n omega t. Here it represents that even harmonics are absent and only odd harmonics are present. The nth harmonic component is given by E0 of n is equal to C n upon root 2 is equal to 2 root 2 E d c upon n pi for n is equal to 1 3 phi. The RMS value of fundamental component is obtained by substituting n is equal to 1 in the equation 3. Therefore, E1 RMS is equal to 2 root 2 upon pi into E d c is equal to 0 0.90 E d c. These are the references. Thank you.